Why hello there everyone, welcome to the third part of this tutorial series in terms of photography in Forza Horizon 4 and um, I announced the third part quite a while back on my Instagram already with not the Ford Escort but with the Subaru 22B yeah that that um, recording I scrapped it because it was kind of trash <laughs> to be honest so I'll just redo it and this time with a Ford Escort here and a different photo to take the wheels off but it's not about the way it looks now mainly not we are focusing on the wheels today and the ones that are on the car right now are not going to be on the car in the end how would someone unexperienced now go about this whole thing they are in the game and they like position their camera let's say like this focus and like that let's say like that and then they go into the uh, internet on Google and search let's say they search stance cars to find a car that matches the perspective and has nice rims now that is what I did in the beginning and I stopped doing it because it is not really an effective method because um, you rarely find pictures that are exactly the same angle as the in-game camera angle and then you might not have the uh, have rims that you like so what I ended up doing is going into the internet first and searching for a picture first and the problem with Google is that you always get the same stuff and you don't have many different things so that's why I go to the Stance Nation website, I will have that linked below and here you have a lot of different cars um, you have these uh, photo coverages, they cover events pretty much so you have different photos from one event that's now part 4, part 3, part 2 and part 1 that's um, different, uh, that's full events um, the, that's up here, that's the event coverages and you can also go to car features where you get, uh, for example, let's say this A4, or the A4, that uh, you have um, one car and many different shots, many different angles, which is what I would recommend. Go into car features and then search for a car with rims you like, and then just look through that side here and to, uh, to see whether you have angles that you like. For example, this one is now a straight from the side angle other than this one, which was the the cover picture so you will find different angles of the same car to maybe find a better angle that fits your style better so you search the image first which I have done as well and then when, once you have found the image in, and the rims you want in this case we're gonna take the rims off this RX-7 um, and then we're gonna go tap back into Forza Horizon 4 and position the camera in a way that it fits this image. Now, what do you have to look out for? First of all, where do you position the camera? This time here, so it's looking at the front left corner of the car, so here. And then you have to make sure that your zoom um, matches the zoom of the camera that's been used. So, for example, if you zoom in too much and move the camera out too much, the car starts looking flat. So this left corner here, uh, that right corner here, would come out towards the front, towards the camera, and that rear left um, would also come towards the camera. So you have to make sure that in-game you have about the same zoom as the camera has in real life. So what we're going to do now is move the camera over here, raise it a little, since that has been done on the image as well and I'm going to show you what I just explained if you move the camera out and zoom in the car starts looking way flatter we have now two um, lines here one being this one which is pretty straight and one being this one which is pretty straight as well on the other hand when you move in and zoom out that is going to revert the whole effect so you have more angle here and there and that is what we in this case what we want so let's say this is the angle I assume is being used and the zoom and all 
and now I am going to take a screenshot of the whole scene and import that into my photo editing program. I, in this case, I'm using GIMP, which is a free photo editing program, though I am certain you can do it with any photo editing program because, like, it's literally just cropping things out and um, rotating and moving them. That's not too hard. What we are going to do now that we have the image in our um, photo editing program, we're going to go to the image that we want to take the rims off and import that one as well. Now that is our RX7 in this case. Um, and what we want of that car is the rims. The rest of the car we do not normally care about. But in this case it is rather important to care about it. Um, we have that tool up here that is zooming, rotating, moving all in one. So um, I'm going to select that and then click on the image. Make sure you have the layer selected here. And then opacity, which is this um, slider, you're going to turn that down to maybe around 30 or 40. And then you're going to move the car with the rims towards the car that you have chosen. And you may also want to rotate the whole thing a bit to and uh, resize it to make sure whether it fits or whether it does not fit. And in this case, I'm just making sure. Um, in this case, the front here does not line up with the front of the Escort. But that is not a problem because that's uh, the most important part. The rims match the perspective. So that's all we pretty much want. Except when we uh, take the, um, maybe not only the rims, but also the headlights of a picture. Then you want that also match. But we don't need that matching right now. So I'm going to close that up back here, so it's back to the normal perspective, and then turn the opacity back up. Um, so now what is the most important part about the whole editing process is fitment. Well, that's what's going to be most important at the end. So you're going to hide the layer, you're going to go down to the uh, original layer you photo you took in for the Horizon 4, and now you want to select the lasso tool or the... The selection tool where you can like select areas like that. Um, that's what you want. I don't know what what it's called in Photoshop or anything, but I I just call it the lasso. And you wanna start somewhere out of the image, to the left maybe. Then go in towards the bumper, and just go around the car. Little distance between bump the actual bumper and where you put the selection. For the wheels, it is the same. You're just going to roughly crop that out. It does not have to be perfect because that, that part here is all going to be covered in the end. And about these um, wide parts here, that's going to be covered. as That's not going to be covered, but we are going to cover that um, later. So you just want to go around the car right here. And when you're at the end of the car, you just want to take the selection out again, the uh, uh, click here out of the image again. So you have pretty much one line going through and you can go up to the side and connect the whole thing. So this, uh, the upper part here now is selected. Make sure you have the area, uh, the layer selected. You want to take the top off and you're going to go uh, control C, control V, which is pretty much a copy and paste then in GIMP you have to right click the new layer and to new layer so it's actually a new layer and when we're using the moving tool or that here now we can see that we have the upper part of the car taken off the rim the the, the wheels I'm just going to reset that so what we want to do is lower the car by just clicking and dragging it down make sure to drag it straight down not that the image is ending up something like that, like push to one side so you have that gap here, that is not what you want. You want to push it straight down. This is a little much now maybe. Um, yeah, around that. Just making sure that it all fits. Uh, and there we go. So now we have 
officially slammed our car and it does not i mean it's not much but to be honest this car didn't need much of slamming either so what we're going to do next is um use the eraser tool right here and select the brush with the most amount of feathering and then maybe use a um, bigger size to and then zoom in and you see these edges of the layer right here those edges you just want to select the layer or keep it selected and then just move the eraser around there make sure you have the smooth out the feathering edges so you pretty much fade one of the pictures into the other one and that you don't need to erase much just a little bit so it looks like it was one image all the time same counts here for the font you just want to go around there and it fits now the same problem we have on up top here this is a <laughs> little um problem of mine now because i have the uh nvidia graphics cards drivers installed and activated the uh, fps numbers um if you have that deactivated that should not be there so that's just going to be there for now um we have the same problem up here so you're just going to smooth up here that stuff out that's not going that's now going to look weird as hell there we go um you just want to go up here and smooth it all out it might look a little weird um yeah it all is you, you see that it's copied um pretty much copied but it looks less weird than the sharp edge up there what you want to do next now is um select and show the car uh the layer with the car where you want to take the wheels off select use the selection or the lasso tool and select the area around the rim like rough roughly select the uh the, the wheel so you have still a little bit of the fender of the bumper of the side skirt of the ground around it what you're now going to do is again Control c Control v and right click to new layer and we're going to hide the original car layer so you only have the rim remaining we're now going to use this tool which is pretty much again uh, moving rotating um, sizing that is pretty much all that's what the, the thing does hello no stop stop so okay um now we have the rim now we're just gonna move it over here and size it down a little and you see we we can't really do much here we just gotta assume everything so we're gonna use opacity again and turn opacity down quite a bit zoom in and then we can make sure that it fits the most important part is which is gonna is, is a little hard to see right here is the lower edge of the rim of the wheel of the tire that we want to put in has to be on the same level as this one so that is the most important part and considering that we're now gonna resize the whole thing to fit into that a little better and more opacity uh, there we go. here we go and in, in the end just gonna click transform and you have the whole thing ah not perfectly lined up no bad here now a little bit more of that and that should work yes that works so you have the rim now and what you're gonna do now again is take the eraser which is your best friend now maybe a little smaller the brush and just start working on the original fender just so you erase the whole fender and keep the wheel itself and the fact the the reason why we're not using the selection tool is because there's on, always going to be a sharp edge edge that's going to make it look uh unrealistic and make it look uh would make it look um just pasted in and that's not really what we want we want that all to look as if it was already in the game 
and you always also want to just fade the ground here a little so it fits and there we have still some stuff to be removed just just uh, watch out that you are not uh, erasing too much and that you're not um, leaving over too much either so yes that is the brim number one it looks still fake yes but that's the thing we're gonna do in the end i'm gonna hide the wheel now and do the same process with the rear and we're gonna see each other after that So now there is a slight problem, one could think, when I'm erasing it here to just fit the fender of the Escort, there is still some white remaining. Um, simple, we're just going to keep on erasing it to smoothen out the edge of the layer. And in some cases, it fits perfectly, and in some other cases, like right now it does not fit in terms of colors but that is going to be taken care of in just a second now when we're going to show this again the whole thing fits it yes it fits but the rear in this case is more camber than the front and since we can't really add anything to the left of this um wheel we're not going to camber this out more we're just going to go to the rear and um, select it, rotate it a bit, move it in, and there we go, it fits better. Now, um, what you want to do is, I'll select the upper layer and right click and uh, unite layers it could be called. I don't know what it's called, I'm just gonna put the translation now in, which is gonna make out of those two layers one. So, it pretty much um, puts the layer you have selected into the layer below so those become one now that those two are one We can go up here to colors and brightness and contrast and what you now want to do is um, Play a little with brightness and contrast Until it fits the vibe of Forza so it does not look like like the image anymore for example here the um, the transition of the dark way darker tire here to the brighter tire here So that looks similar so it looks as if it was in Forza still and I think Yeah, I think that one look that works in this case. It's different For every picture so you can't just slap on the same thing again and again the same um, contrast and the same brightness. You have to change it with every picture. And now that those fit into the image, all we got to do is hit, uh, go up to file up here, open the drop down menu and click on export or export to. And then you decide where you want to export it to the folder. And that's pretty much all I can teach you about stance edits. What you gotta do is first find the image of the car with the wheels you want in the perspective you want, then position the camera in game to fit exactly that that angle of the camera in real life from the photo you want to take the rims off. Then put the wheels in, make them fit, use the eraser to smooth out any weird looking uh, edges, and last but definitely not least, use color uh, brightness and contrast to make the rims fit there you have it pretty much it's not hard to do it's not some miracle some godly power no it's just a simple photo edit and it's not that hard i am certain that all of you can do it as well and with that i must say